Now with what's hot in literature, it's CBS 2's Book Corner. And today in Book Corner, we're very pleased to have with us local author Lee Goldberg and his daughter Madison. Uh, he has quite a bit of, a, of experience in television. He was the executive producer of the television show Diagnosis Murder, and that's what his latest book is all about, a continuation of the characters from that television series. Lee, thanks for being here, and thanks My for pleasure. bringing Madison. Nice to see you, Maddie. Nice to see you, too. Glad you're here. Now, uh... This show ran for nine years, you were yes, telling me, on did. CBS. It was one of my parents' favorites, one of mine, my favorites. Uh, everybody loved Dick Van Dyke in this role, and you continue his, his uh, character as a doctor and a sleuth. And I had no idea, but he lives in Malibu. The character lives in Malibu. Right, yeah. He must have done pretty well as a, as you a know, doctor. You know, somehow in television, solving crimes and healing people is a very lucrative business. That's terrific. Well, that's good. So uh, he wanders out uh, one uh, afternoon or evening, and he hears gunshots in his Malibu neighborhood, which is not a, a regular occurrence. Not in Malibu, no. no. But for Dr. for Dr. Mark Sloan, it's quite common to find dead bodies dropping all over the place. <laughs> it's, I mean, he is a doctor who solves crimes. His son is a police officer, so encountering murder is an everyday occurrence for him. May not be for you and me or other Malibu residents, but for Dr. Mark Sloan, yes. Now, the few times that I've been privileged to visit Malibu, there had been no gunfire incidents. But uh, so y you've taken these characters, you're continuing the, the I mean, these read like uh, a continuation of the series, and so it's a real nice touchstone for folks who, who really enjoyed that television series. Well, the show did very, very well on CBS. It was one of the most watched shows on the network. Unfortunately, it's skewed very old, and in this day and age, the networks are pursuing, as you well know, a younger demographic. So when the show was canceled, there was still quite a lot of, of eagerness for more Dr. Sloan adventures, and I was approached by a publishing company that said, please, continue the show, and I said, sure, I'll be glad to. And uh, so what happens? Do we find uh, Dr. Sloan in any great peril to his own personal Great peril, of course. Almost loses his career, his reputation, everything that's important to him. All of those things. So it makes it a good read. And I, I hear it's a, a quite a quick read and a, a real fast-paced novel, so it's a lot of fun. Now, how many more do you have uh, in the works? Here? I have a contract for eight more. So eight in fact, more. I have to get the heck out of here and start writing. Yeah, you need to be at the computer pretty much 24-7, uh, don't well, you? I have good motivation. This young lady's expensive. <laughs> Madison, I'm sure, helps, too. I mean, though. she's got braces. Those things don't come cheap. No, they don't. I would guess that's probably uh, 30 or 40 pages right away. Right there. <laughs> You're going to be signing this book, and it's called The Shooting Script, uh, Diagnosis Murder, The Shooting Script. You're going to be down at Celebrity Books. Uh, that's uh, at the uh, street fair this evening, yes, correct? Yes, uh, I believe it's 7 o'clock. I'll be signing this book and the previous three Diagnosis Murder novels as well. So you can uh, head down there and buy a copy and get Lee to sign it and check out uh, Maddie's braces as well. Madison, thanks for coming in. Lee, thank you. Always a pleasure to see you. Nice to see you too. And we'll look forward to the next installment. What's the name of it? The Waking Nightmare. The Waking Nightmare. Diagnosis Murder. Excellent. Oh, we want to give away one of the copies of the book right now, as a matter of fact. 1-800-409-2-WIN, and you can have a free copy, and I'll get Lee to sign it. And uh, that way you can keep up with your favorite uh, sleuth turned doctor or doctor turned sleuth. I'm not sure how that works, but Dr. Mark Sloan continues his adventures. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, our pleasure. Drop by anytime. Stick around. We've got plenty more First and Four right after the break.